Hello, welcome back to Feral Art. How you doing? Mm. If this is your first time here, welcome to Feral Art. It's nice to see you. Um, this evening, <coughs> I am going to be working with a 22 by 28 inch and a half deep edge canvas. And my colors are this orange that I made with a combination of Atelier Interactive Red Gold, Liquitex Basics Burnt Sienna, Liquitex Basics Cadmium Red Deep Hue, and Golden Permanent Magenta. It's really pretty. It's not terribly thick. It leaves a nice little dealy there about four seconds maybe. It's pretty though. I like it. I was trying to make something like the um, golden quinacridone burnt orange, which of course they quit making and has made me very sad. So that's my one color. I'm also using um, Deco Art Americana Metallics in Pearl. Deco Art Americana Metallics in 24 karat gold. And a little heavy O iridescent copper. So let's get down on the canvas and we can get this party started. Let's get this. Oh. I'm a little nervous. Get this orange down. some orange left just in case because you never know now these little cups I don't know how many I'm gonna need these are pretty damaged from sitting canvases on them so we're gonna do a little pearl I'm gonna do these kind of like a sandwich pearl pour with mostly pearl I think well, this is how the first one's gonna go anyway. With some gold. And just a little copper. This copper is real close to the color on the canvas, which I thought might work to my advantage. And more pearl. Now comes the part where Kelly starts kind of creeping out. Um, yeeting. I set myself up a splash guard over there um, with a gallon of something behind it holding it up because this could get really messy. There's a couple of yates for you. And another one with a lot of pearl. Well, 
gold. I think we skipped the copper in this one. Pearl. like leg. <laughs> oh man. I really do like just having that little bit of copper in there to bring up some of that orange from the back. I love the pearl and gold together. Absolutely. Positively 100%. So I'm gonna clean this up a little bit, get it set where I need it to be, and I will get back to y'all with some wet results. How that? And here are our wet results. 
I think this is pretty cool. Um, I like, I love the orange. I just absolutely love the orange. And we've got some nice cells and some nice droplets and a bug that I have to pick out immediately. Uh, and we have the convergence here of the two streams. I really like this. I really like the gold. I'm glad I added that little bit of copper in there. I think that really just helps pull the, the orange and the white pearl and the gold together. Sorry about the glare. There's always gonna be the glare. So, I think this is pretty neat. Um, I had envisioned a slightly less sharp curve but I kind of like it. It's kind of cool. Kind of neat. Alrighty. Okay, well, I'll be back. As for our sparklies, we have a plenty. Um, this one's going to be real vivid when she dries and gets her coat of sealant. You know, I'm sure it'll dry. Kind of blah. But. It'll come back. So anyway, let me go get my tweezers and get the bug out. See when it's dry. Here are the dried results of my yeet pour. Um, I think it dried really nicely. Very true to the wet results. Uh, I like it. It reminds me of something that belongs in like an osteopath's office. Looks like a knee a little bit. But it's also very cool. I love this orange that came out of my mixing. And there's really a whole lot of bling in here. Got some cells, got some this, that, and the other thing. Got a lot of cells over here. And uh, I don't think it's bad for our first go round. I would like to try it again, maybe without quite as many pearls. Maybe make the white just titanium white. Uh, but overall, it's pretty cool. And uh, there you go. So thanks for coming along with me and hanging out and watching all this crazy stuff take place. Um, if you haven't already, uh, subscribe to my channel and hit the thumbs up button and leave me a comment. I would love that and appreciate it very much. I'll see y'all later. Bye-bye.